Ladies and gentlemen, let's right game into the comment video. NVIDIA are planning to jump to 14 NM uh, manufacturing processes and they're going to be utilizing Samsung to do so. So Samsung and NVIDIA have some uh, history. Well, history is a bit of a strong word considering they're currently undergoing some let's go with discussions. But in the realms of technology, Samsung are a bit of a powerhouse. Currently, NVIDIA are utilizing the services of TSMC, but they're having a little bit of problems uh, shrinking down their production sizes, and they're saying that they're going to have problems hitting the, uh, the volume that they require for 16NM process. In other words, they're not going to be able to manufacture the numbers that are required until summer. This is also a problem because the process is going to be built on top of a 20NM process, meaning that they're going to be utilizing 20NM interconnects, which is not ideal. It basically is going to be a 16NM slash 20NM hybrid design, not really the direction that anyone wants to go with. As I mentioned, NVIDIA are currently utilizing them, but there are two other major players. There's Global Foundries, also known as Glofu, and you've also got, of course, Samsung, which are the main subject matter of this uh, of this uh, discussion. Now, at the moment, there's a patent lawsuit that's going on um, because NVIDIA are actually saying, have a bit of a patent law lawsuit and nvidia have had a favorable hearing as an announcement for that we are pleased with this outcome ruling in which the claiming constructions favorably to nvidia applied to six out of seven disputed claims when the judge considers the questions of samsung and qualcomm's infringement this was said by david shannon who is the chief administrative officer and security uh, uh, secretary at nvidia and they further said that this further strengthens the patents we have asserted and we look forward to the full hearing in late June. But moreover, where the hell do these rumours actually come from? You know, is it just is it just some whispering? Well, actually it's being pronounced it's being reported by Korea Times, who are pretty pretty well known in the reporting of such stories. And in many ways you could almost say it's kind of the equivalent of the New York Times, but for Korea. In fact, they, the Korea Times actually publishes some licensed content, uh, content. I'm sorry, from the New York Times. Anyway, getting back to what we were saying, a source has been speaking with them, and they said that the latest agreement between Samsung and Nvidia is another positive factor lifting Samsung's logic chip business unit. The timing looks good as it increased foundry customers justify the Korea chip giant's moves to find new revenue sources. Now, if this is accurate, and obviously at the moment it's not 100% confirmed, what could it be used for? There's a couple of options, of course. The first is a shrink of Maxwell, which is probably not exactly the one that most of us are looking forward to. It's not bad, or anything like that. It's just, eh, meh. We all know that it's coming. We all know that, well, most likely it's coming because NVIDIA had initially planned, at least according to the rumours, for Maxwell to be a smaller process than it actually is. So it's possible. The other option, of course, is we could be seeing, let's say, Pascal. Or possibly something else. Obviously, NVIDIA are working towards Tegra GPUs and other such devices as well. NVIDIA are definitely a bit of a powerhouse. It's not like they just do desktop slash, uh, let's say, laptop GPUs anymore. They obviously are manufacturing for a larger and wider range of devices. And it's actually quite interesting is that it wasn't long ago that we reported that Apple are also saying, hey, Samsung, do you mind awfully if you produce us 14 nm chips now if you think about it this is pretty big lucrative contracts i can't remember the exact percent but i think it's like seven or eight percent of chips like you know cpus that type of thing are actually manufactured purely for apple for their various devices in other words what i'm basically saying is right now samsung are big players in the tech industry and the, the word big is actually underselling them, to be totally honest. They're ginormous, and they are going to pretty much have a large monopoly on the manufacturing process if this continues. And obviously, TSMC must be pretty upset. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, my good friends. As a little bit of an aside, I do wonder if we're ever going to see the 980 Ti launch 
at 14 nm because remember there are rumors that it's going to be released late summer slash autumn ish time um depending on who you listen to some people are reporting that the 980 tie has been basically completed which means aib is seeding is already going to begin but we just don't know so obviously the launch date remains approximately september which could theoretically happen but shrug it's just too difficult to know at this point let's just be totally honest anyway um a little quick thing i have not done the follow-up at the moment for vulcan because this week has been absolutely manic basically we are preparing a few things here at rgt in fact we're going to be changing around some major formats over the next couple of weeks so this weekend has basically been preparation for that as well as of course gta 5 which is going to be like a nuclear weapon dropped on us um as well as mortal kombat which happens to be coming out so what we're hoping to do is we're planning to finish uh mortal kombat gta finish the frame rate analysis particularly for dark souls and then we're going to be kind of finishing off the other little bits and bobs that i've been uh, promising primarily vulcan then after that in the next let's say one to two weeks we're going to be launching something very different i've hinted about what it is on facebook um i'm not going to say too much other than it's going to be really different to what we're doing um at the moment very very different but not in a bad way i think you're all going to absolutely love it it's going to be a heavily heavily scripted technical type of show um and we've got a couple of ideas and it's actually going to have presenters and i.e me so i think i I definitely think it's going to be something you're all going to like it it's going to be heavily scripted um which it's just required a hell of a lot of research but i definitely think you're all going to really love it um and to be totally honest with you we're trying to cut back on the content at the moment because we're in trying we're basically just trying to plan um because we're only a small team but i think it sucks for the short term but i think long term it's going to be more than worth it um and hopefully you'll all agree anyway i'm gonna get going but hopefully gta 5 assuming my internet doesn't fall over from the absolute ludicrous download size but we should get something tomorrow up for gta probably won't be super duper in depth or anything but it'll be something interesting um for at least the pc version kind of blast through some stuff just to kind of check it out see how it plays and so on and then obviously we'll be putting up the rest of it over the next few days anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video i'll see you soon take care bye for now